everybody, it's David again from Real Hard Reviews, and today on the bench we have the MSI Liquid Core 360R AIO. And it's certainly been a little while since we looked at the state of the all-in-one CPU cooling solution industry, and that is mainly because this corner of the market has become mature with innovation few and far between. When one OEM, Azitec, makes the vast majority of AIOs for everyone, Smaller companies like Alpha Tech, aka Alpha Cool, are finding ways to avoid being sued by the IBM of the industry and are trying to bring in some semblance of innovation and excitement to the market that has started to stagnate in recent years. One company who has seen the merits of breaking free of Azitec, and that is MSI. Unlike the vast majority of the competition, the recently released MSI MagCore Liquid is indeed Alpha Tech and not Azitech based. Coming in either 240mm or 360mm form factors, this new series is highly intriguing. So much so that we requested their $149 360mm MSI MagCore Liquid 360R variant to see what makes it tick. So MSI has worked with Alphatech to modify the underlying technology to better fit their vision of what an AIO should and should not be. This includes form factors that range from 240 to 360 with more to be added at a later date. User-friendly improvements to the water block, a ton of adjustable RGB LEDs, including basically every single mounting bracket known to man, as well as a long, lived dual ball bearing high static pressure fans that also come with integrated RGB LEDs. Alphatech has come with another idea. They also have an integrator that pumps directly inside the radiator itself, and the most noticeable improvement with this new location brings is active cooling of the pump itself. So, with the Alphatech design, not only is the pump actively cooled, it's going to run cooler just because of its better location. This in turn should mean it could potentially last longer. The downside to this pump and its location is twofold. The first is every single square millimeter taken up by the pump and pump housing is a square millimeter that cannot be used for cooling. By the end of this video, hopefully, we have to answer these type of questions so that you can make your decision on whether or not the MSI Mag Core Liquid Series is right for you. The installation process will be extremely familiar to anyone who has installed nearly any AIO CPU cooling solution in the recent past. The largest difficulty arises in the fact that for Intel users, Alphatech does not pre-install any socket mounting hardware to the water block, nor do they even apply any thermal paste for you. Instead, you'll have to dig out the proper brackets and install it before you do anything else. In this, MSI and their Core Liquid series is truly above average. With four different brackets included, virtually any system will be covered. Depending on your socket type, you may have to remove your motherboard's included backplate, but most will be able to reuse what they already got. So, next, just grab the three included spans and place them over the proper side of the radiator, grab the 12 of the long screws, and just screw them all in. When done, you'll need to daisy chain all three fans together, and when it comes to mounting the actual water block, you basically will be limited to two options. The inlet and outlet ports are towards the front of the motherboard slash case, or these ports towards the back of the motherboard or case. Just apply some thermal compound and mount the water block and secure it. At this point, you're good to go. Just fire up the rig after reinstalling the case doors, and then if you want, install the MSI software or use your motherboard's RGB controller software. Or leave it as is. In as is configuration, the four RGB headers will breathe as they cycle in color and intensity. As far as temps go, we're gonna do our best to provide you with as much data as possible so that you can make an informed decision based on what you consider to be important. This different approach starts with testing on two test beds, and not just one. So the first is an AMD AM4 Ryzen 1700X base system. It may be old, but its thermal characteristics make it a good representation of what AMD users will experience. For Intel, we have opted for an i7-8700K base, base system, and both are tested at stock and moderately stressful overclock. Now looking at the graph, Pure raw performance is not Alphatech's strong suit. It's just 
basic math. When you take away a couple percentage points worth of surface cooling area, less cooling is going to happen. When dealing with massive 120 to times 360 millimeter radiators, this typically does not matter all that much in the real world. If you are gonna, gonna stress a radiator of this size enough for this potential performance loss to become a noticeable performance loss, and as such, it may not be the best of the best at pure cooling, but it is also no slouch either. Instead, it is more accurately described as a good, but with plenty of room for improvement, be a thicker radiator, faster fans, or any a number of the tweaks they needed to do to replace the Azatec as the de facto option. If you're concerned about noise, that are we wee bit annoying to say the least, all you can do is reduce the pump speed. Basically, at 100% at 4.2k RPMs, it's gonna be annoying. At 75%, it's not, and at 60% or lower, you're virtually silent. Your mileage may vary on what you find to be the sweet spot between noise and performance. While not the absolute best performer, the MSI Mag Core Liquid 360R does blend price and performance nicely, mixing an excellent use of both darn near every socket mounting option available, and MSI has half a winner. A winner that looks as good as it performs. Just understand that compromises had to be made to get around as a text patent. As long as those compromises do not matter to you, the Core Liquid series is an excellent alternative to your typical azatec based models most of the competition are using. This basically includes my review of the MSI Core Liquid 360R. If you haven't already, please hit that uh, like button for the good old YouTube algorithm. And if you haven't already, please also subscribe to the channel and join us on our Discord channel where we talk about the latest tech trends in tech. And just remember, go on our site, realhardreviews.com for the full detailed review of the actual AIO. And this is David from Real Hard Reviews, signing out.